Hi, in this video I will show you how to set up the Reverb G2 or any other Windows Mixed Reality headset for that matter to work with Monado, um, slam tracking and hand tracking. The first things to do is to get our fork of basalt. Uh, this will be the project we'll be using for insider tracking. If you're using Ubuntu 22.04 you can just use the Debian file and install it with apt or if you're using anything else you can install from source the minimal version will suffice um, as this provides the library that Monado will use. You just copy and paste this command and you're ready to go. For hand tracking, uh, you'll need to get Onyx Runtime. You can get it from here. You just download the Linux x64 uh, archive and then just uh, uh, decompress that. Uh, you'll get a lib and an include directory and you can move those into USR local and that installation should be ready after getting Onyx runtime you now need to get the hand tracking models for that you can go to um, to the Monado repository this is the commit I'm at and then you can just run the a script from here called get hand tracking models and that'll get the models and put it in the proper place. Now we're ready to just build Monado and for that you can follow um, this documentation uh, page, uh, in particular the section that says installation from source, you can just follow this um, and when you eventually do the configure step in CMake you'll get that feature slam is on because we had um, we had basalt found and we will also have the hand tracking driver on because we found um, Onyx runtime okay now we can just build Monado and wait for that to compile okay now that that's ready um, there are two things uh, we need to do uh, once. Um, we need to so the headset has three cables. One goes to the power outlet, and then the two other cables are for USB, and the other is for the Display Port. Um, so for the USB cable, to for the USB, uh, we will need to set up some UDEP rules. For that. Um, we'll go to this XR hardware project and then just uh, clone this repos repository and run make and sudo make install this will install uh, some UDEP rules so, um, so the headset is recognized um, you'll need to replug your headset for it to work um, this needs to be done all just once then for the display port, um, if you run XRender, um, in this case my GPU has uh, three display port uh, ports and one HDMI. For I'm using two monitors and my headset is connected in the third display port uh, port. So for this I need to some headsets um, are recognized as uh, non-desktop. Uh, which is something you can read by looking for non-desktop output Monado. Uh, you can read what direct mode is and what non -desktop the non-desktop property is. But in our case, we'll set the non-desktop property in this way. Uh, if we are using DisplayPort 2 uh, port, we just say that that port we set the non-desktop property to one and if you're not sure uh, which port you're using you can just start Monado and while Monado is starting you can run XRender uh, you may have a better chance of one of these outputs changing or just sometimes <laughs> it happens but uh, you may need to restart your computer to for the headset to properly show up uh, so yeah now with the USB and display port uh, connections dealt with, we can uh, start Monero.
So for Monado, uh, we can run it with Monado service, um, but we'll also add an environment variable. We'll prepend an environment variable to the start of the command so that we get the Monado UI in case we need to control things. And we'll also add another command to get the slam UI uh, to show up. Uh, with these two, we are uh, these are pretty useful for debugging. Um, you can remove them if you don't need them. Another useful environment variable is the is enabling the compute compositor, which enables time warp. And just in case, also for debugging, uh, we can set the Windows Visuality driver log level to debug as well, in case we need to see more output. And we can just run this. Um, it'll detect the headset, it'll take some time sleeping and trying to wake up the headset displays. In my case, um, the displays uh, get turned on and they are gray after a couple of seconds and we get these two UIs. This is the Monado UI and this is the Basalt UI, the tracker UI. So in the tracker UI w you can see the different cameras and how the camera is being tracked to the side. And there we go. And for the Monado UI, you can see different things as well. You can see the Windows Reality HMD, different options to switch to 3 degrees of freedom tracking, um, see the status of slam tracking, of hand tracking. Then we also have the cameras of the Windows Reality headset, we have the gyroscope data, we have the accelerometer data. Um, we have data for the slam tracker, um, we have data for the hand tracker as well, which is pretty useful, see like how it is working, um, there we go, and yeah, that's it. So now uh, with the screens turned on and everything working, we can just start an application like for example um, this application let's see the stereo kit demo and that's running in the headset I am getting tracked and everything is working um, something that might be useful for this video and maybe for debugging for you is if you add the another environment variable which is uh, XRT Compositor Force XCB will uh, force Monado to not use the headset displays and instead to just use a separate window so now when we um, start a application again we get the application running uh, on a window and we can see the how the thing is working. So yeah, um, hope I hope this video has been helpful and thanks for watching.